It's all good. All right. Heather Larson in the building. So, New Hampshire, huh? So, you was born and raised in New Hampshire or, or, or what? Oh, no. I just lived there for a little while. How how was it living up in the far northeast? Uh, very cold and icy and gloomy. <laughs> oh, damn it, man! Did you did you start your trucking career up there or no? Uh, yes, I did. I got my license up there and then went OTR. Ooh, okay, 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 Heather. All right, so let's start back a little bit. All right, when. When All did right. you when did you get your when when did you get your license? Uh a year and four months ago. Okay, okay. So back up in the northeast, we, we know about congestion. We talking about small traffic. We talking about nowhere to park. But what people haven't talked about is the training up there. Like, you know, like for people that live in New York. Jersey. I I haven't, you know, I haven't conversated with anybody that that would that has actually trained up in that area. Now I know if you drive in that area, you know, and you're a truck driver and you can drive in that area, shout out to you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out to you guys because y'all can keep all of that up there, man. But if y'all trained <laughs> If y'all trained and drive up there and y'all used to it, shout out to you guys. So how was it for <laughs> how was it for you to 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 train up in the Northeast? Um, actually it was great. I went to a school for six months, three days a week, and I got the best training that I could ever get from my school. Okay, okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Now, being that you went to school six months, you you do you feel that the six months training that you got from from a school, you you feel that was adequate enough? You think they they trained you enough to to to, to get you ready to be a truck driver? I don't think any school could ever <laughs> get you really ready for it. Um, they did their best. <clears throat> Mine, I had class work, learned how to read an atlas, learned how to trip plan. Mm -hmm. You know, I spent months in a classroom, Gee. and then I spent months in a yard Gee. learning how to back and parallel park. And I'm telling you, where I went in Massachusetts from New Hampshire, an hour and a half drive, um, they they were just amazing. It, it They were amazing. Cool to go to. Man. And Massachusetts does mm -hmm. not play with you. You cannot fail on anything or else you're gone. Oh. Three tries and that's done. Come back a year later. Not oh, meant for a you. year later? Uh, well, let me, hold on. Let me, yep. go, let me go back a little bit. Now, you say they taught you on everything. Now, every, now, you're exactly right. A lot of schools don't train you on everything. But in this case, you, you was trained on how to read a map, how to trip plan, uh, how to make your day go by instead of just, you know, the, the regular training, like, you know, what to look for and stuff like that. But they went up and beyond to, to train you on other, the little intricacies as well. Correct. And that's why I chose to go to the school because I did, I wanted the knowledge before I got out there on the road. Okay. I needed that. I didn't want to just go sit at a computer, take a test go take a test drive and be on my way like mm -hmm. most places or companies do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's how we get these drivers out here that are naive to everything that's going on around them. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So six months of training, how much, how much did this set you back? Now, did you pay out of pocket? Did you get a grant, a GI bill? I, I, what, how was you able to finance I, it? I got student loans is what I did. I got student loans and it set me back $10,000. And I'm still paid. Okay. <sighs> Woo! Okay, now that, you know. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. It, it's elite. Cool. So it is. So the, 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 
guys, the facts is true. I I didn't want to believe it myself when I talked to a Haitian princess and she told me her school said in her back a left eleven grand. And I, I and yeah. I, I just couldn't believe it that that it could set you back that much. I I mean I, I thought five thousand was the limit, but whew, ten G's, huh? Yeah, that that's with taking out loans. If you have five grand in your pocket, sure you could do it in a week. But does that really give you the training? that you you need mm. Mm. I don't think it does <laughs> well luckily for me I uh, luckily for me the way I went to school I, I started in I paid for it in August started in September didn't get my license until December so I guess I got you know I, I got what I got out of it for that amount but geez louise 10 g's Woo! yep man. that's a lot it's a lot so you 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 pulled out a student loan uh they you you they gave it to you so you so have so you just in the midst of just paying paying your student loans back you're not you're not uh obligated to any company or anything like that right correct Correct. That's why I didn't go with any company. I didn't want to sign that two-year contract. I wanted to be able to work for who I wanted to work for, not be obligated. Wow. Did they? Now let me ask you this: Did they? Did they treat? Uh, did you? Did you train in a manual? I'm, I'm going to assume so for ten Gs. Yes. Yes, <laughs> I did. They, they <laughs> you, you like they better train me in the manual for this model. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I will tell you they were not the greatest trucks. I thought it was in Flintstone trucks and had chalk blocks behind my back so I could reach. I mean, they they weren't the greatest trucks in the yard at all. But when you got out on the highway, they had actual running trucks. <laughs> Man, I tell you, but, like, like I said, they but they better train you in a manual for that for that amount of money. Yes, I have no restrictions on my life. Whatsoever. Now, now you know for that amount of money, people better go in there serious. Like I know some of these drivers out here now, uh, and and we'll we'll touch on that because that's where I know you from from a from a comment in one of our Facebook groups. But um, Correct. but some of these drivers out here now, like you know, they just they 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 go in with with no expectations at all like they go in like oh, okay well just train me on whatever whatever so i could just get out there and start making money you know what i'm saying Correct. they think it's cool they, can, they think truck driving is cool oh that's cool that sounds like a great thing to do let me just go do this mm -hmm. and they have no clue what they're getting into it's, i mean i've been wanting to do this ever since i was little Mm -hmm. And then once my best friend threw me in his rig and was like, this is how it works. I was like, oh, boy, here we go. Mm -hmm. now, so yeah. that's how it started. Now, with these, like I said, with these with these people coming out here like, yo, uh, how much is for the school? Oh, well, the school is 10 G's. Oh, OK, well, let me just go in and uh, pay that. But then when they get into it, when they get into it and they're not serious, what happens to the ones that are not serious? Now, do they get half their money back or do they get do they get a percentage of their money back or do they get their money back at all if they don't pass, if they don't uh if they don't if they don't pass to get their CDLs, if if like you said it's three and out, after three and out, do they get some type of of refund no. back? No. No. It's how serious you are. How bad do you want this? Mm. How bad do you want it? How serious are you about becoming a good truck driver? Mm. And that's what my school was about. You can't you can't make it. You don't need to be out there on those roads. Mm. You you better make it for ten G's. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. <laughs> you better have your heart and soul into it, buddy. Jesus. <laughs> 
10 G's, yep. man. What's what's the name of this school, by the way? It is Nets in the Andover Mountains. Okay, okay. And they and again, you said this school do not play. They they let you know do, do they do they let you know in the beginning, like, you know, like if you was call them up and be like, ask them questions, this, that, and the third. Unlike recruiters, they just like the they just like to sugarcoat everything. Would these people at this school would just tell you right off the rip, like, yo, if you're not focused and you're not ready, I don't think this is the school for you. Do would they actually tell you that? Um, they didn't actually tell me that, but they didn't try to recruit me. I called them and I asked them the questions because mm -hmm. I was prepared before I went into this. Mm -hmm. Um, but when I did go, um, um, they, you know, you get in there from day one, those guys will tell you from day one, your instructor, if this is not what you're willing to put into it, there's the door. Yeah, don't. There's the door. Don't, go ahead don't and waste, go now. Don't, don't you waste your time camp. or our time. Right, exactly. Don't waste our time because let me tell you, they are hard and they're not ready to mess with you. Well, I'm I'm glad that there are trucking schools of that magnitude that that literally takes training and getting drivers prepared out there because a lot of these a lot of these so-called training schools are just are just getting you enough just to pass the 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 CDL and get your CDL and then okay, thank you, appreciate it, come again later. You know what I'm saying? Correct. But, but with schools Oh, correct. But with schools like yours and mine, which mine is Tri C Trucking Academy, well, Tri C Technical College now, you know, they they took the time. Right. They they took the time to make sure that you know what you're doing when you when you get out here, even after passing. Right. My school checked up on me, made sure I was doing good after passing where I was at. Hey, you know. They, they're a good school. Anything, anytime I need help, anytime I want to go back and visit, help train, you know, I can go back. All right. So within a so within a year and a half, and according to your comment, so let's let's just jump right into your comment. Your your comment right. your your comment on the on the on the uh, post was in regards to the young two young men that got terminated for uh device uh the device policies at Snyder. Um, one of the young right. men, one of the young men, Tiki, kind of mirrored the way that I was let go because of, you know, because of what happened to me. But the other young man, Bobby, I just don't know about that brother. He, <laughs> you know, uh, a couple of yep. a, a, a couple of comments that was made in his uh, in his initial video said that uh you know a lot of sn uh, a lot of self snitching goes a long way <laughs> <laughs> but uh but the comment <laughs> but the comment that you made kind of kind of touch on a few valid points uh you said in your comment that uh you don't you don't drive for uh a mega carrier that's one of the reasons why you don't drive for uh a mega carrier. So with that said, uh, did you start with a mega carrier to, you know, to get out I, there? But, I did. But now you're not with a mega carrier. What was your, Correct. what was your experience with, uh, with a quote unquote mega carrier? Uh, wow. <laughs> um, it, it, it was very trying. I'll tell you that. You have to learn how to stick up for yourself and not let them walk and run all over you and leave you sitting in parking lots and dark alleys for, you know, hours, eons and hours chasing trailers. Um, they knew in the beginning where I wanted to go. So if I have to, you know, step over somebody to go higher up, say, hey, this isn't working, this is not what I'm here for, this is not what I'm going to do, and you guys are not going to walk all over me because I will return your truck to the yard and no problem with that, and I will walk away. So this is what I want, 
and this is how we're going to do this. If you can't make this happen, um, I'm free to go anywhere. That is why I went to trucking school. I wasn't committed to a mega carrier that made bad choices for the drivers. All right. All right. So with, how, how long you stayed with said mega carrier before you got with, uh, with a smaller, much more comfortable company? I did my one year OTR. Um, I loved it. I planned on staying out a lot longer. Then I get scary, then I get 